Hello guys and welcome. In our video today, we are going to look at demand forecast in the SESIM simulation. The key strategic challenge in SESIM simulation is to lead the company through a technological improvement. That's why we normally emphasize on the demand forecasting. Now, if you look at your page, we have a uh, estimate in total market demand. The three markets here are uh, USA, Asia, and Europe. Then here we have the total demand in the last round. It's in thousands. So this is uh, 16 million, 47 million. This is 14 million. If you move here, this is the predicted market growth, which is in percent. This is the prediction of how you think the growth will look and you base it from the market outlook. So if you think there will be an increase, you just put here a positive number. And if you think there will be a decrease, you put here a negative number. And uh, if you think uh, the market will stay constant, you don't change anything. You just uh, leave it the way it is. Down below, we have the total demand in the last unit versus this round. So the, the blue one is in this round. So here we can say we had 16.75. Then this is in, I, I told you again, this is in thousands. So this one is, this one is uh, uh, 18,000. So last round they sold, uh, in uh, Asia they sold uh, 47,000. And uh, they are projecting to sell uh, 52,000 in this round. Then again last round in Europe they sold uh, 14,000. And uh, here they sold about, uh, they are projecting to sell about uh, 16,000 and you see uh, they are basing the fact that their market will be improving that's why you see the total demand for this round keeps on rising down below we have the market share and uh, the market share is the estimate sell demand and you can only sell two products in each of the three markets so in USA, you can only sell two products. Again, in Asia, you can only sell two products. And also in Europe, you can also send two products. And if you want to sell a product, develop it first in the research and development. Because uh, if you don't have any product, you will not have to sell it. So let's check on the R&D. So I'll hit on the R&D. Now this is the R&D page. So I said that if you want to develop, uh, to sell a product, you have to develop it. So we, we come down here, we have in-house development. Then you are, we have a uh, buying technology. Now with in-house development, you develop your product, but uh, it's a bit expensive and it will take, uh, it will come into place in the following round. And uh, it will, uh, it takes more time compared to buying technology which has a immediate effect because it will uh, be used right away although it's more expensive uh, it takes less time so let's go back to our production no uh, yeah to our demand sorry so let's go back to demand then we have uh, the network coverage forecast uh, this is a uh, prediction of the network coverage forecast it uh, just uh, predicts the trend in the technology you can observe the network coverage and you can uh, observe the network coverage and predict which tech to sell into which market and uh, in this uh, this side we have the percentage of the population that uh, can have access to your network and uh, in this side, we have the round in which the network will uh, come into place. Now, if uh, if I, I can check on the tech one, uh, it started with a population of 70%, then it uh, moved higher up until it reached uh, 9900, yeah. Then you can see it in Asia, the technology that is uh, as high demand in Asia, in USA, sorry, it's uh, tech one. In Asia, it's uh, again tech one. In uh, Europe, again, it's uh, tech one. So it and if you are to in, and if you are to invest in uh, tech two, 
let's say in USA, you'll start uh, investing in it when it's in round uh, round three there, because in round two, the uh, uh, smaller part of the population is done which uh, can have access to the network. So it's advisable maybe if you start selling it in round three. Then in uh, round uh, in Asia, uh, take four product. You can start selling it in round uh, in round uh, in round six. Then down below here, we have the market shares, and uh, we can st you can compare it with the last round and this round. So. The market share for Take Two product in last round in USA was uh, fourteen point one percent. In this round is uh, in the Take One in last round is ten. So they are projecting that uh, their market share will reduce, so it will move from fourteen point one percent to ten percent. Then uh, the Take One product will take more of the market because it will jump from a market share of 10% in last round to about 18% uh, in this round. That's it for today. Thank you for watching the video.